hated him at the time, but he was honest. He said to me, look, under me, you're not going to play. I was absolutely devastated. This was just overwhelming. Oh. Was Michael Owen a traitor for leaving? As soon as he signed, he was, his Liverpool memory was going to be tarnished. Best game you ever played? I think probably the most memorable game would have been the 5-4 to win the treble. Mm. Not so much because I'm like, I played all right, played, played decent, but it was more the feeling after of this real sense of, wow, we have done something special here. And I know any United fans watching, I know it's not the proper treble. <laughs> um, City fans, if, if, well, if there are any, it's yeah. a classic joke, isn't it? But um, <laughs> they can say the, the same thing as well. The feeling after that game of achievement mm. and doing it with my mates and with Liverpool was huge. I very rarely felt like that before. It's like, oh my God, what? You know, like just like overwhelming yeah. sense of achievement and contentment and happiness. And because, yes, winning the FA Cup was great, winning the League Cup, great, winning, winning lots of things. But that particular moment, when the whistle went and we were, I remember us being on, we were singing You'll Never Walk Alone, we'd collected the medals and stuff. And we were just looking around. You could sense we were all feeling that, well, especially the, the local lads. Hmm. Like, what have we just done? That was probably the most memorable moment for me. The other one linked to that, and again, they're more collective things, not so much yourself. I had loads of really brilliant games, but the, the goal that kept Fulham up, that was a big day. Yeah. It was a huge day because I didn't realise till I was at Fulham, really. I mean, I came from a club in the lower leagues like Crew, yeah. So, you know, I wasn't spoiled my whole career, far from it. But the relevance of that win to so many people other than the players mm. around the club, I'd become aware of in the weeks building up. Okay. You know, people losing jobs, probably budgets being cut. You know how it works. So that goal... Yes, personally, it means you stay in the Premier League. I'd never been in a relegation battle before and you got the plaudits of scoring the goal, but it was what it meant to everyone. I it was like, it was eye-opening to me. Okay. People coming up to me like days later at the training ground and I'm like, oh, thank you, Bob. You know, it was like, mm. I thought I was going to lose my job and I was like, whoa, what? Yeah. You know, it was just... Because you hear about that, but you do wonder, are players aware of that at the time? Sounds like right at the time we, you were. Fulham, Fulham's really magical in the way that, I don't know if you know this, but at the training ground... So you've got the the building where the you know the players and the staff are, and, all, and next you've got all the marketing, and it's all there. Right. Okay. So you get to know everyone. Right. Yeah. You know whether it be the bottom of the ladder, mm. the guys on the gate, and the the, the the I say bottom of the ladder sounds a bit disrespectful, but you get what I mean. Yeah. 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 Different then, departments and all sorts. Yeah, all yeah, the marketing, yeah. all the advertising, they're all there. Yeah. So okay. you're in and out of the canteen different times. You get to know different people, build up different relationships, and you see it from a different perspective. You know, even the guys that work in the community going out to the schools and putting on the mascot costumes and all that, you know, <laughs> you get to know them. Yeah. I know that sounds like, but it was a real kind of togetherness at a club I hadn't been part of before. You know, that, that it matters to everybody. Mm. So that was a huge moment as well. Yeah, probably those two stand out. Okay. Uh, biggest regrets? Two. Okay. One was leaving Liverpool. Mm. Yeah. I should have waited. I was made to feel that I had to go. I was going to say, that's one of my next questions going to be, did uh, Rafa, 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 Rafa was... I hated him at the time, but he was honest. Right, you know, okay. All you want is honesty. Yeah. And he was bringing in, I think he brought in Xavi Alonso and Louis Garcia. Mm. And Garcia kind of took my place. And uh, he said to me, look, you know, I know you want to play. I know you, you love the club and all that, but under me, you're not going to play. Mm. Um, and there's clubs in for you. And I should have just said, I don't care. Mm. I'm staying. And you will end up playing me. It might have been a mistake. Yeah. But when I look back, I should have had more about me. Okay. I should have took the risk. The problem is, is that you, it's very difficult to understand your own value in the football world. So mm -hmm. I had these wonderful op options, I say wonderful, good options yeah. of really good contracts at three Premier League clubs. And 
I was thinking, and obviously looking back now in hindsight, if I'd have, if I'd have stayed another year, and even if it hadn't gone well, I'd only have a year left anyway, so I'd still have the options. But I didn't see that. I was like, I'm wanted now. What if I don't play for a year? What's going to happen then? Yeah. And I love playing. I hated being on the bench, you know. Um, and to add to that, you get 24 hours, 48 hours to make huge decisions. That fast. Wow. It's like that. Wow. Because it was near the end of the window. Yeah, yeah. So that was a, that was a regret. I should have just waited till it was kicked out the door or the mm. contract ran out because it was my club. So that was huge regret. And I always find it hard listening to people who go, no, no regrets, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> like, what? I agree. What a load <laughs> I str- of I struggle crap with that. that is. <laughs> yeah. And the other one was, I say regret. It, it, it is a regret that we didn't do more on the night, but there's reasons for it. The, the Europa League final for Fulham, mm. we lost. That felt like a hammer blow losing that. Um, I regret not being able to contribute more, do more on the night. They did a good job of stopping me. We had a few injuries. We didn't have the firepower. Bobby played injured. AJ was out. Clint had a cast on. We had just everything that wasn't, didn't, didn't go for us. Mm. And we lost in the last minute of extra time, I think it was, which was a killer. Really painful. Yeah, but the... I say regret in the fact I know I could have done more. Right. But I'm, okay. I'm being disrespectful to the guy that marked me on it because he's a quality player from Atletico and he, he did a job on me. But I remember feeling, I talk about elation and joy, but I remember the opposite. The game had finished. And let, let's not forget selfishly, the ego footballer, I was captain. So I would have been lifting a trophy. Yeah. I was absolutely devastated. Mm. I'd never felt that disappointment before I've been disappointed losing playoffs and in the lower leagues and big games but this was just overwhelming oh and I just wanted to capitulate on and I and I I was close to just dropping and then I look round on the pitch and I've seen so many of our players struggling with you know like devastated who haven't had the wonderful experiences I've had of winning things yeah and I'm thinking hold on like, you got to sort yourself out here mm, okay. for them. Yeah. Like, don't you, you haven't got rights. So you've had enough. Good. You've had good. Quickly, you get, you know, so you try and focus quickly. But that was a huge, huge disappointment. More, probably disappointed more than regret. A regret in terms of I had more, I think I could have given. Was Michael Owen a traitor for leaving? How did you feel at the time versus uh, how you might reflect on it now? A traitor for leaving Liverpool. Mm. Um, Well, he, like me, wasn't particularly wanted by Benitez. Okay. And although I think with what he'd done and how good he was, I don't think Benitez could have forced... He probably would have had to keep him and play him. Real Madrid had come in. And I think a mixture of the two, the fact that Liverpool were prepared to sell him and Rafa wasn't that bothered... You know, as a player in any business, if your boss isn't really that, your ego gets a kick in. And then not only are you having to, you know, you might have to leave. Michael had an opportunity to go to arguably the biggest club in the world. Yeah. So I don't think he was a traitor for leaving. No, I think okay. he, he he probably got more stick and more negative comments and views against him because he went to United. That was going to be my follow-up. Yeah. Yeah. Um but he's told that story before, and the reality is, you know, he 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 couldn't go back to Liverpool, mm. even though he wanted to. But I, 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 do you know what? If it wasn't for the horse racing relationship with Alex, he probably wouldn't have gone. But okay. Michael's a strong character, you know, and he did win yeah. a league at United, and he he had some significant contributions. So fair play to him. But it, the reality is, or was, as soon as he signed, he was his Liverpool memory was going to be tarnished. Were you surprised when you heard he'd signed for Man United at the time? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. That, I was it, like, it oh. <laughs> um, but he is Michael's resilient guy, you know. Football moves on. and he, although, although he signed for them, the reality is you can't take away what he achieved at Liverpool, what he did. Mm. You know, and proper Liverpool fans, who, although there'll be some dislike or... Some dis, you know, yeah, maybe dislike's the right word, but they still look that when they look back in time and they see what he actually achieved, and how many big games he scored. Michael was a big game player, mm. 
huge mentality like unbelievable ruthlessness if you enjoyed this you can watch the full two hour long episode with danny murphy right here